we have here some interesting and funny news regarding COVID and Christmas rules here in the UK. Boris Johnson uh, clarified the uh, calls for shorter, smaller celebrations. This comes off the back of, um, you know, the last few, or no, the last few weeks, case numbers have been rising. So we went back to this tiered, no, so case numbers are rising just after the national lockdown. Then we entered the tiered lockdown where certain locations around the UK were placed in tiers, one to three, obviously one being the lowest, uh, three being the highest in terms of strictest restrictions. And they reviewed them on like a two week basis or something like that. I think something like two week basis, regardless. Um, and of course, London was put in the you know, COVID um, tier two level. And now because of cases have been rising, we've been put into tier three. But prior to this tier system, there was also talk of a potential grace period, a potential realization of the rules for COVID during Christmas. So the idea was to have five days where you would allow people to kind of um, go to different households because at the moment you have to stick to your own and a support bubble. But with the COVID realization rules, I think it allows up to three households to mix indoors um, in order to kind of, you know, enjoy, enjoy their Christmas or festive celebrations. And it didn't make no sense then and doesn't make no sense now. If the numbers are going up in terms of cases and you need to lock us down and you need to, you know, put us in different tiers in order to kind of uh, level out the cases and, you know, make sure we don't put a strain on the NHS and hospitals, blah, 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 blah. Then why would you allow people to go into different homes during Christmas? Especially, you know, knowing full well that most people are going to go above the whatever um grace and a put uh, you know permission you've given them they're going to just take it to the hill especially during a festive period and people just want to let their hair down and hang out with their family and friends and have a drink have a bit of a dance it doesn't make any sense and again logically too like what who's given these people ideas that somehow um covid takes a break during christmas that somehow you know a magical opportunity you know a magical time you know between the 21st and whatever else or onwards somehow you know covid relaxes and takes us forth the pedal goes to sleep and allows us to eat our mince pies in peace doesn't make any sense does it but hey let's carry on with the article so this is from bbc news it says boris johnson has urged people to keep christmas celebrations short and small to reduce the risk of spreading covid short and small just request that 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 doesn't work in it um, it says the restrictions will stay will still be relaxed between the 21st or 27th of December but the PM said that people should think hard before meeting friends and family you should think hard that's what that's the most you should do of course no one's calling look don't get me wrong I'm not calling for a China level um, you know surveillance I'm not calling for you know police officers and the army on the street like they did in Spain right that's what because we're not going to respond well to it but enforcing rules by you know encouraging people to do the right thing and to think long and hard is the equivalent to like you know that kid in school who's like bratty and doesn't really listen to the teachers and then when it comes to you know parents evening you see them acting the same in front of their parents and they're like hey johnny stop doing that johnny stop and they talk to him like an adult because they think that's the way to parent that's where you can kind of parent a five-year-old um this is equivalent to what we're doing with our population we we're kind of you know inherently aware that we sort of like we're not going to listen anyway so we're trying to you know come we're trying to convince the st the nation in a very uh what you call it hands-offy wishy-washy kind of way and i don't think it's going to work but hey let's continue he says three households will be allowed to meet apart from in wales where law change will allow just two households and in scotland people are being asked to only meet um on one of the five days so again varying levels of permission somehow even though we have the highest levels of covid cases i think in europe um we're somehow the ones that are willing to do all these sort of weird tiered and relaxed period things it's just odd it's very very odd um it comes um as the uk recorded a further 12 to 25,161 coronavirus cases on Wednesday, along with 612 deaths within a 28 days of positive test. God almighty. Mr. Johnson said the laws was remaining um, the same in England, but smaller Christmas is going to be a safer Christmas and a shorter Christmas is a safer Christmas. <laughs> I love these little, um, you know, these little anecdotes they kind of throw out there, these sort of weird jingles that they sort of think is going to work and kind of get us to all behave. And they're sort of, sort of going to tell off the virus. It's like, do you remember before they tried to like make the virus, um, they tried to make the virus into a thing, a person, right? And we're going to defeat it. We're going to beat this thing. It's like, what? And now they're trying to sing songs to it. These little jingles like... Speaking of Downing Street press conference, 
He said the rules allowing free household to meet over five days were maximums, not targets to aim for. It's always best um, going to be the safest to minimise the number of people you meet. So again, suggestions. After a news conference, the UK and Scottish and Welsh governments issued a joint statement saying that they cannot be a normal Christmas and that they strongly recommend people stay at home. They advised people who were visiting others to stop unnecessary social contact as soon as possible for at least five days before travelling. No one should visit um, another household. Mr Johnson also advised people to do you know, avoid travelling from high uh, prevalence areas to those on lower rates of coronavirus and not to stay away from home overnight if possible. I've said it already before in the beginning of this show, or no, beginning of the podcast, or maybe beginning of the pandemic. It might have been a few months ago. I was saying already, like again, I'm not the I'm not the best person to get advice from this because I don't give a shit about my birthday, Christmas. You know, I'm not, none of these things matter to me. But I, in an ideal world, I think the most sensible solution would have been to say, hey, especially in light of the vaccine, the vaccine is definitely the game changer. When we announced we had a vaccine, there should have been a read. There should have been um. Uh, back to the draw boards, um, you know, approach to what we do from, you know, Christmas onwards. And I think what would have made sense with the vaccine in the back of your mind would have been, hey, we're the government, we're going to be honest with the population, we're going to say, hey, the numbers are creeping up, right? But we have this vaccine that could solve everything. But we're going to need you guys to sort of band together a bit of, um, you know, uh, British pride, stiff up a lip, whatever you want to do. Right, we need to band together, work together in order to kind of crush this virus, you know, again, do the whole crushing phrasing thing. And what we're asking you is for a temporary sacrifice for um, a shorter journey back to normality next year. So they tell us, hey, we're, going, we're thinking of not allowing you to mix into different households in Christmas, and we're advising strongly that you should spend Christmas at home. Now, obviously, the people that want to go out with their families and see other people will go anyway because you can't enforce it. You can't exactly have roaming people of police around every street corner in the UK stopping people from leaving their homes. But just putting it out there is going to put some people off, right? But the people that do want to go will go regardless. But what you end up doing is that you say, hey, we're going to take, we're going to make sure we try and lock this down between the beginning of December to the middle of, Jan of January so that we can get back to normal quicker in the new year with the vaccine in mind that would have been a far better idea to do far better thing to do because what we have now is we have this tiered system that gets reviewed every two weeks then we have this five-day grace period then we have you know it's like it's an opening and a closing of different places and it's also encouraging people to just kind of look for ways around the rules because that's what i've heard the most online especially on social most people are talking about how they can get around the restrictions how they can get around this how they can get around that it's not really about ad you know adherence it's about okay that's what you said but here's what i'm gonna do so if that was the case why not just be honest from the beginning and just say look we fucked up we didn't do this earlier in the summer but now time is gone we can't go back in time we're gonna you know do what we can do now at the moment to save our country and save our economy and we've got a vaccine right but we can't rely on it yet because we can't you know dose everyone at the same time it's impossible so for the meantime stay indoors don't go out all this sort of stuff limit your you know travel only essential shopping blah 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 all the common stuff and sacrifice your christmas for this year so that next year we can get back to normal no big deal and then of course at the back of the head or as a little extra incentive plan something for the you know for when we come out of the lockdown plan i don't know a special bank holiday uh another e uh, help out scheme whatever something along those lines would have made far better sense than just allowing everyone to kind of go out and do what they want for five days and then close it again it's like god almighty man what is going on but again what can you do